Lisa from Active Domestics and today I'm going to show you how to naturally and quickly kill and deter mold and also how to really effectively clean it off and get rid of it. Now of course you've got to always think about why the mold's growing in the first place. We've got three bathrooms in this house and this is the only bathroom that gets mold and there's some very good reasons as to why it grows. I think you can see how bad it is. We need to actually um, kill the mold and then we will remove it but we must kill those mold spores otherwise it's going to just come back very quickly. Mold doesn't just grow for no reason. It grows a lot in this bathroom because this bathroom is not designed in the best way it has quite poor ventilation. The door opens out onto a lounge room so it's not a door that we can leave open so that the bathroom can ventilate and it's only got this small um, window. It also has fairly low ceilings particularly at the shower end and all these things mean that the steam after someone's had a shower really stays in. Now when you add that to the fact that we've got a heat lamp as well, um, it really makes the mold grow very quickly. On top of that, as you know, I've got four sons and they regularly leave wet, really wet mats or, or old towels on the floor. Now you'll see later, I do have notes on the, on the walls to remind them and Things are improving, but it's not just the wet mats. It's because this bathroom has some specific issues and which means that ventilation is an issue. So it's a combination of all those things. I'm just going to show you what I would do to naturally kill and clean this mold. And you'll see it's not such a huge bad job after all. And I don't even need a ladder. Now in the past when I've cleaned the mold off the walls and ceilings in here I've just used vinegar but today I just want to give it a mold killing boost and I'm going to first spray everything with some oil of cloves. So this is a, um, just an empty um, bottle that I'm reusing so forget about the labels on the outside. Um, I just filled it with water and I put about 30 or so drops of clove oil in here because I really, clove oil is known to kill mold spores. Now I'm telling you, these natural methods are better than using bleach. Bleach is not an effective mold killer at all, which is why I'm using these things. If you go back and look at some of my really old videos right from the beginning, you'll see that I used to use bleach and the, the standard mold removers. Now I stopped using them and I went on to natural products because those products stopped working. And what I found out was, is that the bleach is really just taking the color out of the mold poop. That's all it's doing. That's why it comes back so quickly. It's just making it look better, but it's not actually killing the mold. So we're going to um, spray it first, spray the walls first with this clove oil, and then I'm going to let it sit for a bit, and then I'm going to get my flat mop out and use vinegar and go over the walls and remove it. And the vinegar is also a very effective uh, mold killing um, agent. If you don't wear glasses, make sure you use safety glasses because you are going to get a little bit of moisture come back at you when you're spraying this. And clove oil could really sting your eyes as well. So think about those things when you're cleaning. So I'm just getting up here and spraying all those patches. It, it doesn't matter if it drips down on the walls. Get rid of that towel because it's all going to be cleaned. Now don't worry about the smell of the oil, the clove oil or the smell of the vinegar. It does go. The vinegar, your, your bathroom's going to smell like vinegar or cloves for a wee while for sure. But it's really going to disappear within, you know, half a day or a day. It's not too bad. <clears throat> May as well treat a few of those um, stubborn bits that are in the shower at the same time. It's usually the corners. 
Although my son cleaned this bathroom the other day and I have to say he did a pretty good job. So far so good. So we'll let that sit for a bit and then I'm going to come back with that flat mop and the vinegar. My trusty um, flat mop. I'm just going to wet the head of this with vinegar. Now I don't have a lot of vinegar left so I'm going to slightly dampen the microfiber cloth first and then let it absorb further with the vinegar. Unfortunately I don't have any left so I'm just going to do my best with what I've got. So I've still got it pretty wet at this stage. I just literally put the water over the flat mop and over the microfiber head and then I just tipped over some um, the vinegar into the sink. So I've got the plug in the sink so I can save some of that vinegar because like I said I don't have much. So look, I can't take this thing off, it's too much hustle so I'm just going to work around it. As usual with the flat mop you always have one hand at the end and then that way you're never going to bang into the walls or into the um, or into the um, glass shower screen. Now, it's coming off pretty darn well. The beauty about this is that I can use it to get quite into the corners quite well. And because the microfiber head is such good quality, you can just keep on going and going and then I'll rinse it out again later and go over it again at the end. But it's going to come up really well. It's getting cooler now so my kids have been using their heat lamp and that's what's really made this grow so quickly this time but it's the way it is you still got to clean it i've used this flat mop a lot so i'm quite familiar with it just go easy with it and you'll learn the tricks <clears throat> See how I'm wearing my glasses? If you don't wear glasses, make sure you wear safety glasses because you don't want vinegar in your eyes either. Right, I'm going to go and rinse this out in another sink because in this sink I've still got a little bit of fresh vinegar and I don't want to get it all dirty. There's going to be some bits that are going to need to be done by hand, like the corner bits if you want to do a proper job, but you know, I'll just need a step ladder in here to do that, or I'll get one of the boys to do it, is what I'll do. <clears throat> but just slow and steady, and you'll get there. And actually, it's really good to also go over the shower with the vinegar so you can do the glass vinegar is acidic it's very good for cleaning glass and it will help get rid of or reduce water stains so i'm going to keep going with this i'm going to finish the job as best i can do with the mop and then i'm going to get one of the boys to do the corners and the vinegar smell will disappear before too long. So, you know, basically I've just been about 10 minutes of real time doing the, the walls and the ceilings. It's not, a, it's not a bad job when you've got the right tools. The flat mops are brilliant for that. I certainly wouldn't want to be up on a ladder in such a slippery place trying to clean things like that. That wouldn't be ideal at all. Because remember, so many accidents happen like that. And you don't want to, you don't want to be one of those people. So we're back here. It looks great. The vinegar smell actually dissipated very quickly. Um, it's still got a bit of a clove smell, but that's actually really quite nice. I quite like that. This particular bathroom is the only bathroom in our house out of three that actually gets moldy because it has a number of issues with it that, um, make it very susceptible to mold growing. Um, however, um, I know I always clean it. I always clean it before it stains. 
and so everything comes off quite quickly but it's the kind of job you can't delay you can't just keep waiting and putting it off if you've got mold clean it attend to it otherwise you're going to be calling and paying for a mold expert or the mold will eat into your walls and you'll be calling a builder you don't want that okay so i'll just show you the before and after thanks for watching Oops. we're still going so you can see here the mold is gone Remember how bad that was up here? Done.